Unit 13. What's the weather like? Unit 13. Pages 84 and 85. Look and listen. Alex is going to study in Chicago for a year. He's reading a travel book about the weather. He's asking, what will I probably do there during that time? Weather in Chicago. It's usually cool in the spring. Sometimes it rains. The temperature during the day is in the 40s, 50s, or 60s degrees Fahrenheit. It is usually hot and sunny in the summer. It's very humid, and the temperature is sometimes in the 90s. It's normally cool and windy in the fall. Temperatures are usually in the 50s. It gets very cold in Chicago in winter. It often snows. Chicago gets approximately 40 inches, 100 centimeters, of snow per year. Temperatures sometimes fall below zero. I'll have a lot of free time in the summer. Maybe I'll go sailing on Lake Michigan. In the fall, I won't have a lot of free time because I'll be in school. I'll probably play football. Maybe I'll be on the school team. I won't go ice skating because I don't know how to ice skate. I won't go skiing because I can't ski. Here's an idea. I'll probably visit my family in Florida at Christmas and New Year's and get some sunshine. Five-day forecast for Chicago. Saturday, sunny, high 40. Sunday, rainy, high 45. Monday, cloudy, high 35. Tuesday, snowy and windy, high 30. Wednesday, partly cloudy and sunny, high 35. Unit 13, page 85, part 2. Pair work. A. Ask and answer. Use the information about Chicago and Alex. What will the weather be like in the spring? It'll probably be cool and rainy. What will Alex probably do in the summer? He'll probably go sailing. What will the weather be like on Tuesday? It'll be snowy and windy. B. Ask an answer about weather where you live. What will the weather probably be like tomorrow? It'll probably be hot and sunny. What will you probably wear? I'll probably wear cotton pants and a t-shirt. Will it be sunny tomorrow? No, it won't. It'll probably be rainy. C. Ask an answer about your plans. What will you do next summer? I'll probably visit my relatives in Chicago. Unit 13, page 87, part 4. Listening. Listen to the weather report. Answer yes or no. This is Ned Weatherby, your weatherman. This afternoon, heavy rain fell on our town. The big storm caused a lot of damage and traffic came to a complete stop. The storm is now over and cleanup can begin. Now let's look at the weather report for tomorrow and the weekend. Friday will be warm and sunny during the day and cool at night. Temperatures will be in the 60s during the day and in the 40s at night. You won't need a heavy coat, but take a jacket to work. The weather on Saturday will be nice in the morning and cloudy in the afternoon. It'll probably rain at night. These showers are quite normal during the spring, so you'll have clear weather to do some gardening on Saturday morning. Sunday will be cold and windy, and maybe it will snow in the mountains. If you're planning to go there, don't forget your boots and jackets. 
And now for sports. Here is Matthew Delaney with the latest on... Unit 13, page 89, part 5. Pronunciation. Listen and practice. Note the L sound. I'll. I'll meet you at 7. You'll. You'll get cold. He'll. He'll travel in the summer. She'll. She'll skate in the winter. We'll. We'll have fun on the trip. They'll. They'll probably stay home. Unit 13, page 88, part 6. Conversation. A place to stay. So, Alex, when do you plan to move to Chicago? I'll probably move next month. I need to get there before classes start. What about the weather? It'll certainly be a big change from Miami. I'm okay for the summer, but I'll need boots, scarf, and a coat for the winter. Do you have any friends there? My cousin will introduce me to his friends. So, will you stay with your family? Your ending. Choose one, two, or three, or make your own ending. One. I'll probably stay with them until I get my own place. Two. No, I won't. I'll stay in a dorm. Three. I'll look for a place when I get there. Four. Your idea. Unit 13, page 89, part 8. Reading. Under the weather. Do you think it'll rain tomorrow? Will it be cold or sunny? In many places, people regularly listen to the weather reports because they want to wear appropriate clothing for the weather. But the weather can mean more than changes in clothing. Studies show that the weather definitely affects people's moods it changes the way people feel. Rainy, cloudy, or gray weather can have a negative effect on people. In Poland, scientists studied the effects of weather on the building industry. They found that the number of accidents on building sites increased when the weather was bad. Years ago in England, when the London fog came up and it was dark outside the entire day, the Bank of England put away its most important papers and files. The bank noticed that bank employees made a lot of mistakes because of the bad weather. In recent years, scientists have identified a new illness. They call it seasonal affective disorder. People with this illness get very sad and depressed during the long, dark days of winter when there is little sunlight. But there is a remedy. When people with the illness sit under a sun lamp for some time every day, they will usually feel better. So next time you're sad or feel strange, maybe you can blame it on the weather. End of Unit 13